started. Team Blackman is here. Arise Live. We're going to be doing a teaching. If you have questions or have comments, you can email to we arise at Arise Kingdom Life. But unless you give StreamYard access, we cannot see your questions. So uh, that'll be a first thing that you need to do on your end. However, we are glad to be here tonight. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour that, and this moment that we can share the good news of the gospel, the kingdom of God. And so we want everything established by you and from you through us, in us, and by us right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, amen. the month of November we spent a lot of that month teaching about the seed. And so the seed to me is a kingdom, uh, Pastor G, a kingdom law. In Genesis 8 and 22, it says, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Again, that's Genesis 8 and 22 in the Amplified Version. And so we see here, um, we see that this is a twist. Transition is something my husband's been preaching and teaching about uh, for quite a while. And we see in a couple of weeks that we are about to transition into another year. And with this new year, um, you will see a lot of people set forth res resolutions. They will set forth goals. Some churches will uh, uh, incorporate a 21 day fast. You will see some transitioning from where we were, because a lot of us on Christmas, we're about to splurge and eat it out. And so God is talking about transitioning into another year. And for a lot of people, it's not showing up, it's only, okay. For a lot of people, uh, this can be great. Um, but what I have seen throughout my life and it's been a while. I'm not 120, but it's I've been here. I've seen the sheer excitement for something and it fades and it falls short of the plan that was instituted. Um, you see people excited. I'm about to lose some weight. And then by February, what happens? They fall off. No, the next week. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. <laughs> and so you see, we set forth uh, um, times to change and times to do things. But Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 1 says this, and this is so important. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And so you ought to understand that God says, as the kingdom is, shall it should be established in the earth. So everything in the earth has a time appointed uh, a, a place in Jesus' name. So everyone makes plans. We make plans. We make plans to come on the live. We make plans to cook. We make plans to watch a game. Uh, we make plans to go to work and we do these things. And many of these are not a spiritual decision. It's just a random decision. And then you might want to stamp God in it. But Proverbs 16 and 13 says this, though, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. So even when a person plans, one must not leave out the Lord. Even the simple tax, menial tax of cooking, cleaning, which may be mundane to you, 
and you might feel that it's not necessary, but it's important that we have fellowship, communication with the Father on a, a constant basis without ceasing. And yes, we have balance. I mean, you, you got to be natural. You got to do things. But we always got to be mindful because he is in us to put God first and have him partner with you in doing certain tasks. Well, and I will I will actually come with a different thought processing for that. When she says partnering with God, she a lot of times our thought process is I'm going to make some plans and I include God in it. But moving forward, our, our planning must be thought of differently. Our planning moving forward needs to be plans that come from God. It has to be God's way of doing things. It has to be God's plan for your life. So what we need to do is we need to not seek ritual actions like all right, first of the year, I'm going to lose weight. First of the year, we're going to do the Daniel fast. First of the year, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. But we need to first seek the Lord to find out what his plan and his will is for us moving forward. Mm -hmm. Because without God's direction, you're trying to take, you're trying to lead the way. Mm -hmm. And stamp him on there. <laughs> It can no longer be, I'm trying to lead God. So you get an idea. Hey, I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to finish my degree. Yay! And the thing is this, did God direct you to do that? At that time too. At this time. But we don't want to wait and see if the Lord approves or puts his stamp on what we want to do. We just go on and do it and we just pray. Well, since I thought of this must be the will of God, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go for it. And we end up going for it. And it's not necessarily that God is with us and going for it. <laughs> Just like a job. You, you, you yeah. Go for a I job. Mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been rumors that, you know, you got people that, oh, the Lord offered me this great new job opportunity. Hallelujah. And, they, and we're excited about it and we're shouting about it. But the thing is this, it's in another state. And sometimes that is God's will. Sometimes it isn't. So, I mean, you you just got to, uh, you know, that's how people are with, with dating. Mm -hmm. The Lord put you in my life. Oh, you, you're the one. You're the one. And next thing Baby, you know, you, you didn't get permission from God. <gasps> you didn't seek the Lord. He didn't speak to you. You just ran with it. Knowing he ain't saved or knowing she ain't right. So, I mean, and I'm not trying to just trying to discourage people, but what we're trying to see is that, when we commit ourselves to the Lord first, commit ourselves to the Lord, then he gives us the plan. plan of and it's through him that those plans are established. Yeah. We see in Matthew chapter six, where it lets us know that, that we're to seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto us. But what does it say? That his first says, take no thought, mm -hmm. which means I've got to deal with, I've got, I can't take thought about what I shouldn't be worrying about what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to drink, what I'm going to wear, but seek first the kingdom, the kingdom, God's way of doing things, how God wants things carried out. And in doing so, he'll establish his thoughts in our life. He'll establish his plans that he has given us. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's, that's good. I love because we got to understand what he said was not incorrect. That was his perception and giving it in a different way so that other people can receive that. I love that. I love that because that that is what God wants because we are all different kinds of learners and God wants to establish his his what he wants to say. Um there's a scripture um I found in 1 Corinthians 
3 and 16. Again, it's 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. It says, don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. And so we have to understand that God wants to dwell with us and that he established his way, his will, but he established his children. Uh, you and I must align or make sure that our plans align with the word, like Pastor was saying. We must align ourselves with the word, align ourselves with God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if anybody's watching and is this if this is dragging, let us know. Let me put post it in the comments or or send me a text message or something to let me know if this because it, it looks like on my end that it's dragging. So I'm look, I'm gonna look on mine. And so uh we're gonna check that because we don't want anybody to be missing out. Is so. it lagging? It did. Let's see. All right. Is so, it lagging? It did. Okay, well, it's not lagging now, so we're going to keep going. All right, again, send us a message if things start to slow down. Uh, I'm using the computer, that, not the computer I've been using for the last few weeks, so uh, just let me know. Now, as we continue, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, it says, Do you not know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? So God first establishes his children, yet you and I must make sure our plans align with his word. And so any plan uh, that brings forth either it frustrations or to, to explain, explain that. So you might be frustrated in your plans or you might feel rewarded in your plans. I'm going to accomplish something. I'm going to achieve something. Or you can be frustrated. This is hard. How am I going to get there? Uh, but I know I need to lose weight. But I know I need to change the way I eat. I know I need to change my diet. But how am I going to get there? But the reward is you are 20 pounds lighter. You're 12 inches off of your waist. All these plans. And, and a lot of these plans are proven by trial and error. Uh, by time and fire. Um, and so for any plan to succeed, it, it especially in our lives, it needs perseverance. Yeah, because there's there's the plan and then there's the pain of carrying out the plan. This is where the challenge, because it's challenged. Satan is not just going to step back and watch you do the things that you're going to do that's going to give him victory over you. No, he's going to fight back. Because any, either way it goes, it's a change process. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about establishing and making plans, we're planning to make changes to our lives. And those changes are going to require some struggle. It's going to require some type of pain. But the thing is, we must be assured that it is worth it. Anything worth having, this was said to me uh, years ago by somebody. He said that anything worth having is worth going through some pain to get. Any, if you want a good marriage, it's going to go through some pain. If you want to have, if you want to prosper, it's going to take some pain. <laughs> if you want babies, kids, it's some pain. It's some pain. African American women. To get your hair done, it takes pain sometimes to look good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she looking good. Now. I'm telling you, I have to say that. Now, she looking good. She looking good. So it is. It, it takes that. But we have to be willing to, like she said, persevere. We've got to go through this pain to get where we're going. We can't sit back and complain about how things aren't right. We've got to allow God to give us wisdom so he can lead us through. Because again, he establishes the plans, which means that there comes a point where, yes, God is going to intervene and God is going to make that way because he won't allow more on you than you can bear. But going through the process. 
They still had to fight to possess the land. David still had to fight 24 hours to get back what was stole from him. Jesus still had to die, go to hell, get the keys and come back from the grave in order for us to be redeemed. Yeah. So there has to be this challenge that we go through, but we understand the seed must die in the ground before it can produce fruit. Okay, bro. And that's the thing. That We're going to go through <laughs> some issues, but as we are being disciplined, as we are obeying and we are persevering, our flesh dies. And it's okay. But the fruit that comes from it, that it will become a tree that will not be moved to the left or to the to the right. Because the roots are deep and you become stronger than when you were before. People that exercise know that uh, if I want to get stronger, I've got to have heavy weight. I can't say I'm going to get stronger and all I'm doing is lifting my same weight. You have to constantly increase, meaning that's going to be some pain. Yes. But <laughs> when that body, when you got them pecs, like I tell you, what, I look at my son now. I my see him working Lord. out. I see him working out. Woo. That was and, a scrawny guy. And now he's woo. just like, how do you get that? <laughs> like for real. And so it, I got to fight off those girls because you looking good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that, but that takes, it takes that struggle. But the thing is this, through it all, we always win. Yeah. Because why? When we are doing the will of God, we win. When we are carrying out his plan, we win. And that's what we have to always look at. Making sure that our plans are aligning with God. And when we make our plans and do what he says, we become disciplined. We become disciplined in what he is saying. And, and discipline to me is having order. Um, it is, and it can be supportive, preventive, or corrective, but discipline is very important. So when I have a plan to lose weight, I must be consistent. And sometimes my husband has to. Hey, you can lift that weight. Come on, let's go. Let's do that. And oh, watch out. I don't want you to hurt yourself. And it could be corrective, like stop what you're doing. We need to do something better for you to do what you need to do to get mm -hmm. the results. So that's what I mean by discipline is having order. Uh, and so we all have plans. We all make plans as parents uh, concerning our day. Where is our child going to be at this time? What are we going to do when they get done? We make plans as a college student. I need to study this right now. Like for me, my daughter is, in, she's going, she went somewhere and study. And I have the th three grandchildren with my big daughter to watch. You know, these are things that we don't do on our end. We make plans. We make, uh, ways to do things right yeah and that's what god does for us so the question may be well how does one deduce if it's god self or darkness well that's simple one does it align to the word of to the word of god if it doesn't align to the word of god you know that's not god's plan so if your plan is to take somebody else's wife that ain't <laughs> god's will if your plan is to go and I'm going to eat all the chicken I can eat, that ain't God's will. All <laughs> and right. You can, and you can do it, right? You know you can smash those 30 wings, but guess what's going to smash you at 12 o'clock at night? Yeah. Your stomach is going to say you were not disciplined and now it's about to rebuke you and cause you to stay up. 